What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making today liquid fire. Just kidding. We're making hot sauce, but it's going to be really, really hot. You guys can make it lighter if you want with different uh, peppers, but we're going to be using today some habaneros and some scotch bonnets, which are really, really hot. But you guys can learn the technique and then you can use whatever peppers you like to your own taste and make some amazing hot sauce without any chemicals or preservatives. So let me show you what we got today. Let's get right to work. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be working with today. You're gonna need a mason jar or any jar that you know you could use. Uh, you could really use any kind of empty jar to do this really. Uh, mason jars are just kind of built nice and they're convenient. This one's one and a half pints. Uh, pickling salt, uh, this is just thinner than regular salt, so you can turn it into brine faster, but you could probably use regular salt. It's just gonna take a little bit longer stirring. I'm using three cloves of garlic. I got here one poblano pepper, three jalapenos. I got two tomatillos, and this is just to add more body and um, flavor to the so uh, sauce. We're gonna actually uh, roast those off with a, with a blowtorch. We have a couple of pieces of red onion. So also to add more flavor. And I have here, let me see, one, two, three, four, eight, about 11 uh, hot peppers, three of them are habaneros, the rest are scotch bonnets. And these are like super hot. I think they're around 500,000 um, on the Scoville unit. Uh, some of the hottest peppers in the world. So it's gonna be pretty hot. Um, if you guys don't like your sauce really, really hot, you can leave these out, or you can simply just put one or two to make it you know, pretty hot um, for the amount of volume that we're gonna be making. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our salt brine, and we're gonna do a 3% brine. So that's basically going to be for what we're doing. It's going to be 30 grams of salt to 1,000 grams of water. And that's going to give us 3%. So we're going to zero our, our uh, scale first. And then we're going to go ahead and throw in 30 grams of salt in here. Okay, so that's 30. And now we're going to add a thousand grams of make sure you guys get um, non chlorinated water because if not then the fermentation uh, bacteria won't survive in, in chlorinated water so try to get either spring water or if you have some kind of filter uh, that removes the chlorine make sure the water does not have chlorine or this will not work all right so we're gonna add a thousand grams of water are okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow torch these vegetables here and basically I don't have a broiler here if you guys have an oven you could just broil, broil them in a sheet pan um, and basically what we want to do is just kind of like toast the outside skin just to create um, like a nice uh, toasted flavor so and remove the stems and the skin on the tomatillo. So basically I'm gonna cut the stems off the jalapenos. And I'm gonna start blow torching the surface on this stuff. This is gonna create a nice roasted flavor. roasted peppers. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these into smaller pieces to fit them in the jar and also so we can get the brine on the inside parts. So 
smells amazing. The roasted pepper with the onion and the garlic. Such a really good aroma. Okay, so now we're just gonna set these aside and very carefully we're gonna go to work on our hot peppers. Very, very carefully. And there might be more than one jar here as far as ingredients and what I'll do is I'll split it into two. Okay, so basically here I have our bonnets and our habaneros and I'm just gonna cut the stems off of these with a pair of scissors. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in whole. And these are very ripe, so they got a lot of oil on them. So be really careful. Now, I wanna get that juice on the cutting board. <laughs> okay, so now that the scary part is over, we're gonna go ahead and load our ingredients into this jar and then add our brine. So we're gonna do a piece of onion, jalapenos, Poblano, tomatillos, and what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up and it's going to ferment for about 10 days and then we're going to go ahead and blend it up. You can ferment it for longer if you like, I just like doing about a 10 day ferment, the most violent part or the fermentation usually happens in the first week when you get all those bubbles and stuff and that's when a lot of the, the flavor comes in and the fermentation process is actually going to preserve the sauce so you can keep it um, for as long as you want in your refrigerator actually probably for about a year or longer um, at least I've kept them that long and it also alters the flavor it makes it taste um, more flavorful I might use a a pestle to push it down a little bit just to get it more compact all right now we're going to go ahead and add our brine i'm going to leave three of these peppers out i'll just use them for another recipe it's going to be plenty hot wood it's got anyways actually might use um, some of these for seeds and these peppers are actually off a neighbor's yard that grows them so now we're gonna add our salt water brine. Let it seep all into it. And this is not only gonna be delicious, it's also really healthy. Uh, it's gonna create uh, fermentation uh, through bacteria that are actually beneficial to, to your digestive tract, your intestines, um, the probiotics. So this is a great, great thing to have around the house whether you make it this hot or you know it's just mild you could do whatever you want you could do it with other vegetables too uh, pickles or anything like that delicious and um, really good for you okay so basically um, what we have to do now is to put a lid on it and cover it because we don't want uh, air to be getting into this in case something falls like a gnat or something and then that will actually um, uh, contaminate the, the fermentation process and it'll make it spoil so I got these little lids on um, on Amazon they call the pickle pipe and basically it's a fermentation lid they're made out of silicone and they go in the mason jar the wide top and what it does is it allows um, for the for the ca uh, carbon monoxide to get out and no oxygen uh, to get in so basically it just prevents uh, spoilage from happening so i'm going to go ahead and put that on the on the top and then we're going to close it off and basically we're going to leave this for a week uh, outside to ferment and it's going to stop bubbling and i'll show you guys that process um, in a day or so and it'll actually begin in a few hours but in a day or so is when it'll be at its, at its prime so basically what we want is the pressure from the air to be getting out, but no uh, air to be getting in or bacteria. 
and this is going to create a lot of pressure inside if you don't have these what you could actually do is you could put a regular lid on and just burp it every few days just let a little bit of air out okay so it's been five days since we started to ferment on these hot peppers we're going to go ahead and take the lid word of advice don't use as much liquid as i did because the liquid was starting to come off at the top um, so now it's actually overflowing a little bit and this this stuff is really hot that's why i got plastic down on the cutting board i don't want this seeping into my cutting board um, it smells really really good i ended up putting a piece of plastic to keep everything down because you want everything under the water submerged so you don't end up getting any bacteria to ruin your ferment so i put this little piece of plastic from a from a meat grinder that i had so basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to just take this and put it in a blender and we're just going to blend it for about one or two minutes till it becomes a sauce. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blend this into, until we blend it into a sauce. Okay, so this is basically the consistency. That's the finished product. What I'm gonna do is I just basically put it in a squirt bottle and then whenever you wanna put this on any of your food, uh, you keep it in the refrigerator and you just squirt it on whatever you're gonna, you're gonna eat hot sauce on. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the consistency of this really quick. Um, that's basically what it looks like. It's like a thin uh, paste and basically uh, you guys can make it thinner if you use a different type of blender with more power but this is just fine for me i like my sauce a little bit um, with a little bit of you know more uh, thickness and body so i'm gonna just dip this um, in it a little bit and give it a taste to let you guys know what it tastes like it's really hot but it's got a lot of flavor from the garlic and the other ingredients it's definitely different than any sauce um, that I bought at the store. It has a lot more flavor to it. I recommend you guys give this a try. It's a great way to get natural sauce. It's also a probiotic. 